Have you ever seen a steam engine before, Ashley? In, in big old-fashioned trains. Yes. There was a sort of a big cylinder like this. And then there Something was an arm that was connected to, to lots of wheels. And then usually there were more wheels going out yeah. over here. Yeah. Well, they heated their, their water up with steam. We were using electricity. And here inside here is the supply of water. And the steam is coming down right over here. Do you have any idea what's going on in there? A turbine is, is spinning and then no, that makes sense. No, in this on? case it's a piston. What's a piston? Well, it's, it's like a stopper and it's going up and down and it goes up and down in the cylinder. I let the pressure out As of there. As in a car. You mean like over here? Yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. That's a piston, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is have you hold this uh, little stove underneath the water like that and heat it up. What's going to happen? Well, the steam is going to uh, push the piston up because steam takes up more space, space than water. Space than water does, yes. Yeah. So the piston is going to go up this tube and up on top here we have a little hole so the steam can escape. Then I would have to push it down again and we could start out over again. Right? right. Okay? Now because we're going to be heating in a glass container, I would like you to put on safety glasses. Have you ever used one of these little stoves and heated up a flask before? Mm-hmm. Well. Okay. Now I'd suggest when you put it under here that you keep moving the stove around. Go ahead. Okay. Because it's a good idea not to heat up one part of the glass too much compared to the other. So what you do is you just keep it going around like okay. that. Hey, look at the bubbling. The steam pressure is building up. Is that steam? No, no that's bubbling. that's air. Right. Like We're heating up the air in there. Yeah. So I'll push it back down till we get, get rid of the air. You can see our piston is not too good. There's a lot of space for the air to escape. What's it made of? Well, this is just thread wound or string wound around the bottom of this thing to sort of take up the space. Okay, no bubbling yet. Well, there's a few on the sides, but... Okay, now we're beginning to get a little steam. I'll push it down to make sure. There you go. You don't have to go outside of the thing. Just there you go. Now we're getting. There goes the piston. Here comes Slowly. One. Now, if we let a big burst of steam get in there quickly, the piston would go up quickly, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. We're moving it up slowly. There it goes. Ah, really okay. Quickly. Okay, Oops. stop it. Right. We don't want it to go off the very end. A little more to get it up past that hole. The steam is condensing yeah. on the sides. Back because we're not water. heating up the whole thing, we're only heating up the bottom, right? Right. There we go. Whoa. That looks like a thermometer. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? And we were pushing the, the stem up. Now, let's take a look at this and see how, that, where that, what that piston must be doing. Here, it's a little hot, so I want to yeah. grab it. Now, we're heating the water in the boiler here. The steam is coming through this little tube, coming down to here. So when the wheel is in this position, where must the piston be? It must be like... It's Over on this side. Right. Because watch what happens when it goes out here. That's when it gets a push. Then, you see in the back here, there's a little arm that goes back and forth in the opposite direction? Mm hmm Well, that's, that's a little valve. When the wheel gets around over here again, the valve opens and gives it a push. Then the wheel has enough inertia or enough mass to keep turning. So that closes off the little valve. Then it opens it up over here. So this steam engine gives this a constant push. Now let's run it again, but this time not with steam. We're going to use ice. Just normal ice? Well, it's a normal ice, yes, except it's called dry ice. Oh, you mean like, like carbon dioxide that's in a, that's it really packs its right. in a solid form? Here's some solid carbon dioxide. And here's the tweezers. You put some of the dry ice in the hole where we ordinarily would add water. What's going to happen to the dry ice? It's going to like it's going to change back into a gas. Right, and if we close it all off, we're going to be able to make the uh, the carbon dioxide gas is going to be filling up here and go down and push that piston. A couple more little pieces. Okay. And lots of people have seen a steam engine, but not too many people have seen a dry ice engine, and that's what we're going to have. Makes a okay, squeaking one more sound. piece. One more peek. Okay. Let me see if that's enough. Put the top on so we create some pressure and give the wheel a spin. Yeah. 
So you no longer call it a steam engine, but what? A uh, carbon dioxide engine. Right, carbon dioxide engine. But based on the same idea as the steam engine. Yeah. 